Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to talk about seed heads in our Bermuda grass and what the heck is going on. I'll explain it in just a second. Hold on. Hey guys, if you're looking at the world's greatest Bermuda lawn that looks kind of like crap right now. And let me tell you why. Uh, we had a 21 day drought. And on all of a sudden we had all this rain and all this rain and then on top of that now we have this hurricane that came up the coast and so we've had like six days of bands of rain every couple hours every couple it's been horrible so uh i really haven't been able to come out and cut the grass it's probably the worst my grass has looked as far as being too tall in a long time but one thing i wanted to talk about and this time of year we start to see it a lot um you're putting down hopefully you're putting down a lot of uh fertilizer on your lawn you're getting a lot of rain and things want to reproduce in nature and that's kind of what your Bermuda grass is doing it produces these seed heads and it really kind of means that you got a healthy lawn there's a bunch of mixed research out there on the internet on this and like they say what happens during drought conditions look we're, my, my lawn is soaked and I'm gonna show you all these seed heads so uh, maybe you can see that all that brown haze is all seed heads so let's take a look Let's get close and personal with this. This is all seed heads. And you can see them, you can see that sort of brown cast? <laughs> so uh, I got a real healthy lung. I mean, look at this Bermuda. The Bermuda grass is just absolutely gorgeous in here. I mean, it's thick, it's lush, it's green. <sighs> it's gonna be a nightmare to cut this stuff but all these seed heads come up. Now, it's important to understand that this is normal this time of year. Um, if you get a period where you really can't cut your grass and your grass starts to grow, you're gonna see these, even during normal periods, you're gonna see these seed heads. For me, I see these a lot in the springtime. Um, that's usually when I do it, when I'm putting down heavy fertilizer, we're getting lots of rain, the plants are healthy, they wanna reproduce, but it's really no big deal. Um, are these seeds, these seeds are not fertile typically on hybrid Bermuda lawns if you have sod. So uh, they're infertile, so it's not going to do anything. Plus, these seed heads really to be able to germinate, even if they were, if they weren't sterile, um, it would, they would have to sit on that stem for I think it's like three or four weeks before they could even be a seed that could germinate. So. But a lot of people have asked about it. There's really nothing you can do about it. Don't worry about it. Just keep cutting your lawn. Keep cutting your lawn. I mean, I really, I'm kind of having to cut my lawn, gosh, every four days right now because we're getting good rain and lots of fertilizer. And cutting. <laughs> I'm cutting into this video right here because guess what happened? The sun came out. And the sun came out about uh, while I was actually editing this video. And I said, I'm jumping on my John Deere and I'm gonna go cut the grass while I got some sunshine out here. And so I figured I'd go to the front, which, had, which was full of seed heads and was a little too long. I'm gonna show you the front yard cut. Now, what I did was to reduce any damage is I moved it up a quarter of an inch. So I'm up about a quarter of an inch roughly uh, from where I used. Now, normally I put it on my, uh, my two, which takes it down to one and a half. So anyways, let me show you what it looks like. She really looks nice. The only thing is, is the grass is so wet. I've got some mud marks from my wheels in the line in the yard. Uh, the only other thing is, because I'm not bagging yet, um, I do have clippings on top. But man, look at that. That is just gorgeous. That is simply just gorgeous Bermuda. We got a nice breeze out here. Well, I guess tropical storm breeze. But look at this Bermuda. Like I said. And see, there's a little seed head right there. And that's low. So, again, lots of clippings. I'm just going to leave them on there. They'll work down for now. But that's longer than I'd like to, my Bermuda to get. And I just wanted to cut in here, show you what it looks like after I cut it again. I bumped it up about a quarter of an inch from where I normally cut it. Let's go back to the video. Bunch of videos coming out, guys. Click the subscribe button. I'm doing a whole series on pressure washing, everything from fences to swimming pools to driveways to houses to everything. So I'm doing a full series on pressure washing. So click that little red button, subscribe, and that way you'll get notified. And I got an announcement for you. 
that's coming out about a new website we're bringing up. I'm bringing up a new website to sort of organize all these videos for you. So hopefully that'll be up soon. Talk to you later, Doc. Thank you.